This woman never used to be able to see anything in front of her, let alone do this. Olivia Durant was born with extreme nearsightedness. She was legally blind. I had vision up to the end of my eyelashes only, so only in this area, which meant that there was nothing that I could actually use to live. There were no accommodations for her disability at school, so Olivia had to navigate a painfully blurry world. And I couldn't see people bullying me. I couldn't, you know, if somebody would just like slap me or whatever, I, I, I didn't react until I got hit because I could not see. I remember just thinking at some point that I'm going to prove people wrong. She escaped poverty, graduated from college, and built a career in technology. Then, another hurdle. She developed cataracts, a clouding of the eye lens that typically affects the elderly. She was in her 30s. I was going to lose my sight, what little I had. So the doctor said, okay, you, you may have six months, you may have a year, your lenses are clouding over, we gotta do something. Surgery, which her insurance wouldn't cover before, was now an option. It took four operations and some generosity on social media to cover the remaining costs. At the age of 36, Olivia began to see for the first time in her life. It was life-changing, just not in the ways you might expect. It was a rocky adjustment. Yes, she could see the sky and flowers and Disneyland, but then there were things that she just wasn't prepared for. Doctors won't tell you that it's going to give you a nervous breakdown, but pretty much everybody has it. Uh, I now know this. A lot of your relationships will change. How you interact with the world changes. Olivia spent years trying to figure out who she was, mentally and physically. I would go into stores with those mirrors on the wall, and I saw myself, and I actually said hello to myself because I thought I was a different person. Sometimes, even now, she says her brain sort of shuts down her vision momentarily if her senses become overloaded. A car alarm went off right next to me and it was really loud and I lost the ability to see for about 10 seconds. And it wasn't a physical thing, it was my brain saying, I'm going to stop seeing right now because I'm freaking out. To challenge her body and challenge stereotypes about disabilities, Olivia took up Ariel Hoop. She's also educating people. Ask me anything on what it feels like to have vision after living without it. Everything changed for me. On accessibility. Accessibility does not have to cost much. And how to see the world and life's challenges with new eyes. And eventually things didn't just get better, they got awesome. I see every day as a gift because regardless of how hard my life has been, it gives me the opportunity to see things differently and, and maybe make some sort of positive change to other people's lives and encourage them to look differently.